Hi everyone and welcome to Cooking with Cricket. On today's episode I'm going to show how I make my cheesy potato soup and this recipe goes out to my Aunt Marilyn and my cousin Star. So I'll meet you at the stove. So let's get started. Alright to begin with with our potato soup I took about six to seven medium sized potatoes and chopped them up. They're about half inch slices but you know that's really your preference but for soup especially potato soup I don't want real big chunks but I peeled them chopped them up washed them real well and then put them in a pot <clears throat> filled them you know about an inch above the potatoes of water and then you're going to want to season it with some salt bring it to a bowl Cook them till they're tender. You don't want them real mushy. Just cook them till they're tender. And then drain them. And then we'll be back to uh, finish up the soup. Our potatoes have cooked. And I put them in a colander. And they're sitting over there in the sink. And they're draining real good. So in another saucepan, I have a half a cup of butter melting. And that's one stick of butter. And over medium heat, I'm going to add a half a cup or one small onion, finely diced. And we're going to cook this over medium low for about five minutes or until the onions are translucent. Our onions have cooked for a few minutes until they're translucent. I don't know if you can see it that good. Now we're going to add one fourth teaspoon of minced garlic and just stir that around just for a few seconds. Maybe about a minute. Alright, after about a minute, we're going to add one half cup of flour. That's a half cup of flour whisk this in real well and then we're going to let this cook for about a minute so that the flour won't have a pasty taste to it when our soup's done so just whisk this around You want to cook that doughy taste out of it. Okay, after about a minute, I'm going to add one 14.5 ounce can of chicken broth. Slowly add it. And whisk it real well. Get any lumps out. Make sure you get the sides of the pan. This is mixed real well. We're going to add three cups of water. Mix that in real well. And now we're going to add in one fourth teaspoon of dried parsley and one fourth teaspoon of our paprika. And then the salt and pepper is to taste. And I always use kosher salt.
Now we're going to let it come to a boil and we're going to let it boil slowly over medium heat for about a minute. Right, this is coming back up to a boil and so we don't want it to boil real hard or anything. So we're going to let this simmer for about a minute and you'll need to continue to whisk it so it doesn't stick because this is a thick soup base. Now we're going to add one ten and three-fourths ounce of the cheddar cheese soup. And we're going to add one and a half cups of milk. Get your cheese mixed in. And then we're going to let this simmer for about another minute, whisking constantly. And if it's too thick for you, you can add some more water or add a little bit more milk. But once this simmers for about a minute, then we're going to carefully add in our cooked potatoes. And let those get heated back up, and that'll take about another minute or two. I'm also going to add a dash of Louisiana hot sauce. Just gives it a good flavor. It doesn't really give it any heat. All right, our soup mix has simmered for about a minute make sure you whisk it real good and now i'm going to carefully add our cooked potatoes Really now, just cook it for about another minute or two because we really just want to heat up our potatoes. And then once the potatoes get heated up, then it's done. So I'll be back in just a second to show you what it looks like served up. Here is our bowl of cheesy potato soup. You can top it with some extra shredded cheddar cheese. And if you want to add some bacon, I cooked some bacon earlier. Sprinkle on some bacon over the top. And put some sour cream on there if you want to. But this soup is real good and creamy. And I hope you enjoy.